Hello, my name is Kevin O'Shea, and this is my Teach One for the course HAP 823 at George Mason University, taught by Professor Alemi. I'll be going over the solution for week four's problem three. In this problem, we want to see the impact various antidepressants have on causing remission in patients using three antidepressants. I had to balance the data using sequels and stratify comparative balancing. Out of this, I needed to identify which of the three medications should a patient who has PTSD and neuro neurological disorders take. After you've imported the data into SQL Server, there are a fair amount of things to change in order to compare the data. This includes combining the subject ID and contact concat levels to create a new ID column, creating binary columns for each medical condition, some of which are grouped together, such as amphetamine, opioid, and cocaine being put together to make AOC addiction is what I named it. Um, also, instead of using every medication, I focused on one at a time since we want to look at three. Uh, I started off with the pseudolopron. So to start off, we wanted to create strata. Um, I did this first by finding by using the IDs uh, when CIT was used and when remission was caused. And then using the concat function, I bunched all the medical conditions together uh, and named it strata and put that into a new temporary table. Now we get into the calculations. Uh, we need to find the cases that we matched with controls. Uh, with this code, I counted the distinct data to find the total number of records or cases, then calculated where CIT was used and remission occurred or didn't occur. After that, I used a similar code to find the controls, which is where CIT was not used and remission occurred or didn't occur. With the cases and controls, you can find the odds ratio across the strata. I used an if, if function that stated if remission occurred with no CIT being used, multiply with no remission and CIT being used equals zero. Then it would calculate remission with CIT multiplied by no remission and no CIT being used. Uh, else you divide those two equations and that gives you the odds ratio across each strata. You can also calculate the common odds ratio, which in this case is low. We want this to get as close to one as possible to show that the treatment had a large impact on the outcome. Uh, with the common odds ratio of 0.49 means that citalopram is near 50% less likely to cause remission. Here I found the overlap between matched cases and total cases. A nested query was used in order to match the controls to the cases, which was then divided by the total number of cases to get an overlap of 0.635314, or 64%. This is lower than I'd want, but using Markov's blanket, you'd be able to get rid of the covariates that aren't necessary in bringing this overlap down. Now, as I said earlier, uh, we need to balance three antidepressants. So now in order to do this, we have to repeat this process two more times with other medications. Uh, I chose mirzapine and lithium, both of which had common odds ratios closer to one, with lithium being the closest, meaning it had the largest impact of the three. I was also able to achieve uh, overlaps of 100%. For the next part of this problem, we need to find which medication should be used if neurological conditions and PTSD is present. Uh, the data is prepared the same way as before, um, but this time all the medication is included. The table of uh, distinct medications is made using the row number uh, function to create IDs for the medication and changing the name of the CONCAT uh, column to medication and lastly finding the number of trials each medication went through. To find the cases, an index was declared and set to 1. It would run up until 13 records were found since there are only 12 medications. A new table called MED is created while the index is still at 1 and the variable index runs over the probability of remission for each strata and medication combination is found where PTSD and neurological conditions are present. The same code from cases is used for the controls and then used along with the cases table to find the matches between the two when joined. And this is that joint table. As you can see, there are only 12 results due to the index variable stopping before 13 records. A common occurrence within both sides of the concat medication is that first one, which correlates to pseudolopram, meaning this is the medication one should take if they have PTSD and neurological conditions. Thank you for listening, and I hope this helps.